Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. I'll tell you more about them later on in the video. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And I am back on RuneScape after playing New World Beta for what, about two weeks now, I'd say. And there are a couple of things that I want to focus on in RuneScape on my main account. As you can see, we got all of these new combat achievement diaries. I haven't done any of that. That's all auto-completed, mainly the kill count tasks, basically. And the idea of this mini-series is to pretty much complete everything. There are some tasks in the Grandmaster tier that I will require a lot of effort to complete but I think if I put my mind to it I can probably complete every single task available on this list uh, but I am not going to start in a Grandmaster tier because I think that's kind of useless to start here if you can't complete all of them yet and we're just gonna start at the beginning start at the easy and work our way towards the lead towards hard as you can see a lot of them are already completed but the ones that are not is what we're gonna focus on in this video so strap in I hope you guys will enjoy and let's get right into it it has been years since i wore this gear like i look like an absolute snack but anyways the idea here is we're gonna kill briofta okay let's see if we did the growling one. Oh, i didn't have it on i literally turned this off at the very end wait i, I completed two but i don't think <laughs> why did i turn it off yeah i shouldn't have taken off protect from magic i think i just used blowpipe honestly oh but no I just fucked up everything. I didn't kill it with Venom. I was supposed to kill it with Venom then, and I forgot. So, <laughs> we'll return back to this at a later date. Alright, if you look at my location, if you look at my inventory, we're gonna do some Temporos now. And we're gonna see how many tasks we can do on the very first run. I think this will be the fifth fire. That's one of the tasks. There it is. And this should actually be another one when I repair this totem. There it is. And I'm just gonna fill up the cannons from both sides. There it is, so that's another task done. And I get two extra ones, I think one is to not take any damage while doing it. One is to do it in full angler or with angler pieces or something like that. We are going to be returning to this place a little bit later, just got some soaked pages off of this, just basic rewards, I don't have a lot of them in. Okay, the first skill, I did a couple of mistakes, but there should still be a couple of tasks completed, straight up. Oh my god, look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six tasks from one kill. That's actually insane, what the fuck? And uh, I'm probably gonna look for at least a 20 kill trip here. Uh, and I can always start flicking towards the end if I like run out of prayer potions or something like that. And there's another one, granite footwork. This time I didn't actually get hit by the little stones. And another one, perfect grotesque guardians. Okay, so now I didn't do a single mistake. So there's the two extras. Oh, and another one. Speed chaser, so it's not the fastest. The fastest I need to do is 120, which is probably gonna be quite hard to achieve. And there it is, that would be the 250 kill count one completed as well. I also got my personal best here, I need to improve it by 11 seconds. I think I'll leave the speedrun tasks till the very end. I'm out of aggressive potions, so we are gonna have to do 5 kills without aggro pots, which should make things a little harder, but it's one of those things that I really wanna do, so I don't need to worry about killing 20 in a row again in the future. If my counting was correct, this should be the 20th kill in a row, and there it is till dawn completed so this is what i wanted to do 20 kills in a row in one instance for this particular situation now there's two tasks left for grotesques that i have to do in the future one is a speed kill of 120 i'll fully focus on that perhaps in another video and one is to do five perfect kills in a row however as you can see on my inventory i can't do that right now i still have a bit of left on the task so maybe i'll return to this later but now i want to do some other task i'll go through the list see what fancies might tickle <laughs> that's not how you said here's a quick loot from 20 kills obviously i probably lost money because i was using a fury of the blood oh there we go that's one of the items i actually wanted to get a fish barrel since i oh my god and the tome of water right after that and i also got some pages now that is very very lucky actually this is all pretty rare but the reason for fish barrel and why I really wanted it, I tend to really enjoy AFK in Karamb ones when I don't really do anything. And this basically allows you to have two full inventories of food. And that's awesome. And I, since I still don't have a fishing pet, um, this is one of the items that I really wanted to get from here. Oh, there it is, another item that I actually needed. A tackle box. I don't actually know what that is, but I think you just put the, all the fishing nets and stuff in that. We are going to go ahead and do some Duo Scorpia right now, and the idea is, well, we want to kill it 150 times, but I think I might be able to complete most of these at the same time. Also, Scorpia has a really nice pet chance. This is the gear we're doing it with. Let's see if we can get lucky. And there's one task that tells me not to. I should be getting some completions, yeah. Yeah, I got two completions for that. Nice. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm using... Oh, wait. Uh, I got a 50 KC. Nice, 100 to go. And here it is, a big KC 100. So we have 50 more to do, basically. All right, there it is. Kill count 150, and that should do it. Scorpia veteran, and we basically made just around a million in that uh, hour and a little bit that we've spent being here. The next thing I wanted to do was some Zalcano, and in order to do it efficiently, I do need this Celestial Ring. And I already had a bunch of Stardust because... I did do some fallen mines or whatever, or fallen stars. So now we have this ring, now I just have to figure out how to charge this thing. And I'll probably buy an elven signet ring as well, and then combine the two. Ooh, I just got uh, a task, the spurned hero. Uh, that task was to deal the most damage out of the whole team. All right, there it is. We've done a little bit of a Zalcano, and there it is. 150 kill count. Very nice. This is still pretty profitable. We made basically, what, 800k from 13 kills that I've been here for, but also the shards, man. The 20 shards would be worth, I'd say, around a million if you were to buy the crystal tool seeds. So it is a pretty profitable boss still. Now I'm procrastinating doing grotesque guardians even more, so we're gonna do some giant mole tasks. Let's see if that completes any of the tasks already. It does, it actually completes apparently three tasks already. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot more than I thought when I first looked at it. Oh, and there was another one. Why are you running? Okay, very nice. Wait, and that was everything. Hold up, that has to be bugged. I didn't actually kill it in four hits. Oh, four or less instances of damage. That's okay. And then the why are you running one is to kill it uh, without her borrowing more than two times. So yeah, we've completed all of the giant mole tasks in, uh, well... Two kills, basically, so very nice. I took a look at some of the Barrow's tasks, and they seemed pretty easy. This one should be fairly easy, killing a Karil in only special attacks. I think DDS is maybe gonna be the best for that, but maybe I'll have to bring in Dragon Claws. Let's see if that does it. That did it, so that should be it, very nice. And now I have to finish this run, because for the actual attempt that I wanted to do, I basically have to have zero prayer from the start. I didn't read it carefully enough, so I just have to do one chest first. Alright, so that uh, that does one. Yeah, Faithless Crypt Run, which is the one without prayer, and now I still have to do a few more. Alright, that should be a run without taking any damage, and I actually got slapped by Varak, so I still have to do one more run. But that one is Pray for Success, very cool. Let's do one more. Don't smack- Oh my, I was gonna say, if he smacked me there, I was gonna lose my shit. But we good, we good. There we go. I've done all the brothers without taking damage from them or being hit or anything like that. And there it is. Can't touch me. With that, we have now also completed all of the Barrow's tasks. And we can check that right here. Uh, I found this cool way of checking stuff. Like you click here and then you click bosses. And that way you have a much nicer look at what you have already completed. Instead of manually searching for everything. But you can see 7 out of 7 Barrow's tasks also done. Before we continue on with combat achievements, I would quickly like to tell you more about the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a slim and lightweight wallet that isn't bulky like an old-fashioned wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards and also cash. There are over 30 colors and styles to choose from. My favorite ones are the Carbon Fiber and also Burnt Titanium. The wallets are also very safe as they have integrated RFID blocking to protect you from digital pickpockets. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts and unnecessary mass and here you can see the comparison between the Ridge wallet and my old wallet and as you can see my old wallet is very bulky and I can probably fit most of the things into the Ridge wallet that I had in my old wallet. The Ridge team is 100% confident that you will enjoy it. They will even give you a test drive for 45 days so if you do not love it you can send it back and you will get a full refund. And on top of that they also have a lifetime warranty. So if that sounds interesting to you get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash Mika, that is ridge.com slash Mika, and use the code Mika. Thank you once again, Ridge, for supporting the channel. Moving on to the deranged archaeologist. Let's see if we can get some good loot from this guy. I think I have to kill him 50 times, basically. So we'll see how this goes. One task is to dodge this learn to read attack, which I failed just then. Um, the reason why I have Sanguinesti is, as you can see, once my HP drops, I'm just gonna use it to heal, or if I can get anchovy pizzas, 
I'll just eat those instead. So that's uh, the first task done. Let's kill it 50 more times and see what kind of loot we get. And there we go. That should be without taking damage from learn to read. I also got a long bone drop. Very cool. Hey, and there it is, the 10 kill count. I'm just watching Bori on the side, and right as I get it, he screams, man. It is what it is, right. 10kc, 40 to go, let's get it. I had no idea I can get elite clue scrolls from here. Alright, there it is, another boss completed in the game. That'll be 50 kills. If you're wondering how much money I made, uh, basically... I'll just quickly price check everything, why not? So, together... 200k and an elite clue scroll because I didn't pick up everything. All right, next on the list, crazy archaeologist. Should be fairly easy to do this one. All I gotta do really... I don't have any teleports out. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to run if I get attacked. It is what it is. I'm only risking like 200k or something. Unless I get school tricked, I risk harmonized staff, which I can't get because I have this on hidden right. Uh, the idea is I only need to kill 50 of these. I think this is gonna be insanely fast. I wish I took an imbued heart. Alright, let's see. So that should be a couple of tasks already done. Yep, two of them completed. We got some rune crossbows. Nice. Someone could be jealous right now. It is quite funny how low my kill count is on all of these bosses. I assume most people have much higher KC, but yeah, as I said in the past, this account hasn't really PVM'd much. I am maxed, but that's about it. So I really do enjoy getting those kill counts up all across the game. Oh, I just got a shield left half. All right, that's, I guess, something worth mentioning. Probably quite rare. All right, and there it is. That should be every, I mean, uh, every single task for the crazy archaeologist. Now I just need to make my way out of the wilderness. All right, flinched it all the way. Let's see if the logout trick worked. And it didn't, actually. Okay, interesting. Okay, there it is. I definitely flinched all the way and took no damage. And it didn't complete it. I took zero damage during that kill, um, and it did not work. Alright, so I've done it again from scratch, surely this time it works, there we go. Okay, so I think what the problem might have been is I was hopping worlds between the kills, so maybe the game thought that I took damage in a different world. So what I recommend you doing is do one kill by taking damage, and then do one kill by flinching, and it should be perfectly fine, so I'm happy I have this done now. When I was talking about the list, this is what I have in mind. I check all these monsters, and if they are a slayer mob, I just move on. So now we just got done with Chaos Elemental, maybe Maybe I'll move on to Chaos Fanatic next. All these tasks are actually very easy to do as you can see. So that's basically my train of thought on how I like to complete these tasks. Okay, so I have to kill 10 of these without using a single prayer pot. So I'll just uh, have my prayers on and then recharge my prayer down there. I mean, I could be flicking it, but I can't be asked. So, yeah, let's get 10kc like that. Also, there should be one where you don't get hit by its special attack. But it didn't work on my first kill, so we'll see what's up with that. And on top of that, I also gotta get 50 kill count, I think. So, we'll be here for a while. Ah, there it is. Sorry, what was that? Is now completed on 6 kill count. Very nice. Also, I forgot the looting bag this time around, so that is a bit unlucky. I'll be leaving some loot on the floor. Chaos Fanatic Champion, that's the 10kc, another task. This should be the kill number 10 in the wilderness, and there you go, it worked. So now I'm actually gonna get myself looting bag just so I don't leave all the loot on the floor. Alright, this is going to be the end of Little Chaos Fanatic session. Now, this took me a couple of hours, maybe, nah, I'm lying, maybe like an hour, if that, I don't really know. Um, but anyways, it is done, and we have made 340k out of 46 kill count, yeah, this is just whatever. But another boss is completed, now, if we take a quick look at the... Uh, next boss on the list, so we've been completing all of this as you can see, the Slayer tasks once we're skipping, Chambers of Xerix I'm probably skipping, am I gonna do some Corp? Eh, I don't know, we'll see here, and then we're off to Dagonov, so I'll have to find something that I wanna do right now. I think I will be finishing this video with Winter Thought. there are a couple of tasks that are fairly easy to complete, but I wanna finish this boss as well. That's the first task, just kinda repairing the burner, very simple. Alright, a lot of these tasks were actually very easy to complete, and there is one where you gotta get 10,000 points, I think, and for that one I might have to solo it. Ooh, I just got Tome of Fire. Again, nice. That is worth basically 1 million right now, so that's free money right there. Alright, and that was the last thing I wanted to do in this video, and that is to complete Winter Todd, and uh, this one was to basically get over 3,000 points. 
should get a bunch of rewards for it. There it is, and uh, we now completed another boss. So if we look at some green stuff, we got Winter Todd done, Venenaris done, we got Scorpia done, Mimic is completed, Giant Mole is done, Deranged Archaeologist is done, Crazy Archaeologist is done, Chaos Fanatic, Chaos Elemental, Callisto, and Barrows. That is all we did in this video. I hope it wasn't too long, and I hope it was fairly enjoyable. In the next video, we might dive into some of the harder tasks, so... Uh, and also Deadman Mose coming up, so we'll see when uh, when that rolls around. But anyways, I do appreciate you for watching this video. If you made it this far, I would highly appreciate the like. Also, consider subscribing with Deadman Mode coming out. There is going to be a lot more uploads on this channel. Uh, and also, check out Ridge. They were kind enough to sponsor the last five videos, I think, so shout out to them. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, there is a chance you will enjoy some of my other videos as well, so feel free to check some of them out. That being said, I'll see you very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.